hurricanes. Did you know that some scientists refer to hurricanes as tropical cyclones? This name actually gives us more understanding about how hurricanes are formed. Today, we are going to learn more about this special type of storm. Let's start with the basics. What is a hurricane? A hurricane is a storm system where high winds circle around a low pressure center. All hurricanes form over the warm ocean water near the equator. As these storms grow, they create strong winds of at least 74 miles per hour and heavy rain. If a hurricane hits a landmass, it can cause a lot of destruction. So how exactly do these storms form? It all starts when hot, humid air rises and starts to form storm clouds. These storm clouds gather and form a spiral shape. Remember how we mentioned that scientists call hurricanes tropical cyclones? Now you know why. When the winds build up and reach 74 miles per hour, the storm is officially a hurricane. The stronger the winds, the more powerful the storm. This is because the wind currents are the force that moves the hurricane and determines its direction. The reason the wind spirals in the first place is because of a phenomenon called the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect makes things traveling long distances around the Earth appear to move at a curve rather than a straight line. This is because different parts of the Earth move at different speeds. Here is an interesting fact. Hurricanes in the northern hemisphere spin in a counterclockwise direction, while hurricanes in the southern hemisphere spin clockwise. Most hurricanes form between May and November, and scientists will give each hurricane a name in order to forecast, track, and report information about the storm. There are various naming rules depending on where the hurricane starts. For instance, in the Atlantic, there is a list of 21 names that repeat every six years. The names begin with A and go through the alphabet, except the letters Q, V, X, Y, and Z are not used. If a storm is deadly, the name is removed and replaced by another, starting with the same letter. Hurricanes break up for a few reasons. If the storm travels over land, it can no longer get the hot and humid ocean air it needs. Sometimes, a hurricane can be swallowed by another storm. And a hurricane can even hit something called a wind shear and be torn apart. Under the right conditions, even too much dust can break up a hurricane. Wow, who knew? Thanks for learning with us today. If you want to test your knowledge about how hurricanes are formed, head over to our shorts for a quick quiz. See you next time. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.